Pelagos Rosi. The construction of the palace was begun in 1489 by Benedetto de Mayano. Palazzo Strazi is an example of civil architecture with a rusticated stone inspired by Palazzo Medici but with more harmonious proportions. The palazzo has million paired windows. The radiating visual of the arches increase in length as they rise to the keystone, a detail that much copied for arch windows set in rustication in the Renaissance revival. Its dominating cornice is typical for the Florentine palaces of the time. Wrought iron objects known as ferro that adorn the building are famous. Many of these appointments to the building, such as flagpole and torch stands, hitches, lanterns, and sconces, decorated the, pal the palace exterior and its corners, as well as filing functional needs of the day. The ferro on the building were created by an iron set, Niccolo Grosso, known as Il Capara. The palazzo remained the seat of the Strozzi family until 1937. Great changes were made to the building when the Instituto Nacional de la Asicuración occupied Palazzo Strozzi. The Palazzo Strozzi was granted by the Instituto Nacional de la Asicuración to the Italian state in 1999, is now home to the Institute of the Humanist Studies and the Fondazione Palazzo Strozzi, the Gabinetto GP Visios Visic and the Renaissance Studies Institute have both also occupied the building since 1940. Palais de Louvre, an iconic building of the French state located on the right bank of the Seine in Paris. The Louvre complex today is a series of unified buildings that constitute the world's largest museum, one that contains the most famous paintings in the world. The present-day Louvre Palace, Palace is a vast complex of wings and pavilions, which, although superficially homogeneous in scale and architecture, is the result of many phases of building, modification, destruction, and reconstruction. From the 1620s to the 1650s, Jack Le Mercier, Mercier Dorely replicated the last cut wings pattern for his design of the northern half of the western wing of the Cour Carré. In the 1660s, Louis Laveau echoed the Mercier's pavilion, the Hor Horlog, for his redesign of the central pavil pavilion of the Tuileries Palace further west, and mostly continued Lascotts and the Mercier pattern for the completion of the Cour Carré. Window shapes on the ground level based on Lascotts for the Pavilion du Roy, a century, century earlier, ensuring visual continuity even though the dramatic colonnade on the upper level was different from anything that had been done at the Louvre so far. In the 1810s, Percier and Fontaine copied the giant order of the western section of the Grand, the Grand Gallery, built in the early 17th century and attributed to Jacques II, Andrewet du Cerceau, for their design of the northern wing to connect the Tuileries with the Louvre along the Rue de Rivoli. In the 1815s, during Napoleon III's Louvre expansion, architects Louis Visconti, then Hector Lafayette, will build the Denon and Richelieu pavilions as echoes of the Mercier's pavilion, the Il Horge. In the 1860s and 1870s, Lafayette used, used designs inspired by the Lascaux wings, even as he replaced the prior giant order patterns created by Andrew du Cerceau and replicated by Percier and Fontaine. Next to the domestic building in England, there were actually four structures. Elizabethan mansions include the Hardwick Hall, the Derbyshire Stuart, Stuart Buildings. In Stuart Buildings, we can see the Banqueting House, Whitehall, London, and Stuart Buildings include Queen's House, Greenwich, London, and Georgian Houses for Blenheim Palace, Oxfordshire. Right now, we are to talk about the Blenheim Palace in England. It was built in 1705 to 24 near Ward Sock. It was said to be the national gift from Queen Anne, the first Duke of Marlborough, John Churchill. It was designed by Sir John Banbrew and Nicholas Hawksmoor. Brainheim Palace was truly one of the examples of Baroque architecture in Great Britain. It is believed to be the first country house that got in the title palace, despite it not being a royal country house. It functions as a family home and a mausoleum. The building was made purely for convenience and comfort. That's why the palace was considered a country house. Um, Renaissance architecture is known for their use of murals or mosaics. So in 1715, James Thornhill painted Marlborough, Marlborough kneeling to Britain and presenting a map of the Battle of Bainham in the ceiling. It is also known for the usage of domes. Here we can see the picture of a dome. It is located in the um, Bainham Palace Interior Long Library. Library. Beneath that is the statue of Queen Anne by John Rhysbrock. And that will be all for my report in Blenheim Palace in Oxfordshire. Next reporter is Jeremiah M. Relino presenting the University of Salamanca in Heidelberg Castle. Good afternoon or good morning, ma'am. I'll be the last presenter for our group, 
and the topic is Renaissance Architecture for Domestic and Civil Buildings. And I'll be tackling two buildings in the Renaissance period. One of it is the University Salamanca, and the second one is Heilberg Cathedral. The University Salamanca is a civic building in Spain, in which it is founded in the year 1218 by King Alfonso IX of Leon. The structure is included in the Renaissance period, where it, is, it has a specific architectural characteristic, which is the Platerus architecture. The characteristic of Platerus architecture has a ornate decorative in its interior or facades covered with floral designs, chandeliers, festoons, fantastic creatures, and all sorts of configurations. The spatial arrangement, however, is more clearly Gothic inspired. These are the examples of ornate decorations and floral designs. The ornate decoration came from the Gothic architecture, which has a decorative with complicated patterns or shapes. The next structure is the Heilberg Cathedral. It is a domestic architecture in Germany, where it began its construction between 1616 or 1619. And the structure took 300 years just to finish. It went through various of renovations and added structure. But the current structure was designed by the, the great mind of, of architect Solomon de Caus. Since it took 300 years to finish, it has different uh, architectural characteristics in it. First, the Renaissance. The hall of glass that is built 1549, typically of early Renaissance palace structure in southern Germany. It began its construction in 1556, where it is a famous Renaissance masterpiece, and it, and it is considered as an ideal German Renaissance palace. And last would be its late Renaissance arch architectural characteristics. The English building, the clean design is based on work by the Italian architect Andrea Palladio. The font of the English building is oriented towards the town. Thank you and God bless.